Hello friends. So this is the environment, SQL Server environment, where we can create a database. In the databases, we can have different database objects. So let's create a database first. So just right click, add new database. Let's give the database name as MCMIT. Just click OK. So this you will see this database have been added MIT MCA. Now let's create a application for let's say a small application for library management system where a student can issue a book. So let's create a table related to that. For example, if I'll create a table for Bookmaster, so we'll have an important primary key that is accession number. And let's give this as a numeric. We have a title of that book. So let's give this as Envircare. And we have, let's say, author of that book. So Envircare. And an important field is book status. So let's give this as care of size one only. Now let's save this table with the primary key accession number. So I'm giving the name as Bookmaster. Now we have a book status which may be either A that is available or it may be I that is issued. So I'm giving a constraint called as check constraint for the same. Let's give the expression as book status is equals to either A or book status is equals to either i. So only two values can be inserted over here either a or i. So just save this, close it, save this. So our table bookmaster is ready. Let's close this and refresh it. We'll see a bookmaster table is available. We'll add some record into it. Edit top 200 rows. Let's say accession number 101. Title of the book is let's say Java programming right. Bal Guru Swami and book status is A. Let's say if I'm entering K, it will raise that constraint, constraint, right? So I can have only insert A over there. So 102, let's insert something. Operating system. Let's say the name bound. And it is again available. So initially, uh, as a user, as a uh, librarian, I can insert this book details into my bookmaster table. So I just have a small uh, table where I have not taken all the fields, but an important field that I actually required over here. So just execute this, your record have been inserted. Now the second table is, let's say, a student master table where I need to have student ID. Let's give this as numeric student name and where care sorry and where care. Let's take only two values. Let's give this as primary key and save this record. Save the record with student. Now again we need to add some record into the student table. Before that, refresh it, you'll find that student table. Edit top 200 rows, add a student record, let's say 201, student name, let's give the student name as Vinay2002, let's give the name as Alex2004, sorry 3, let's give Smith, Just execute this. Three records have been there in the student. Now the next important thing is a relational table that is an issue master table. So one student can have multiple books and one book can be issued to the multiple students. So it can have a many to many relationship over here. So here I need to have create a relational table. So I'm creating a new table with let's say transaction ID. Let's give this as a numeric. 
then issue date let's give this as date then we need to provide the student id a particular student who is actually issuing that book its data type should be same then which book he is issuing so we need to have an accession number so let's give this as a primary key save this so i'm saving this with issue master table i need to provide a foreign key over here so set relationship add table and column specification in bookmaster sorry in student student table the student id is primary key so here also we need to provide a student id as a foreign key just click ok close save this so we are linking student and issue master max session number relationship add column specification in bookmaster we have a track session number as a primary key but here it is foreign key okay close and save so we ask you for this so here we have taken three constraint one is primary key all the not null constraint and here we have foreign keys as well so again close this now let's see the database diagram for it so initially it will not provide you the permission so i need to have a permission set for this right click we'll have a files let's change the owner to sa okay now you can have a database diagram let's click yes so you'll we'll find all these three tables just add all these three tables you'll we'll find a database diagram which is where all the three entities are linked with each other now let's come to the procedure so here the objective is to create a procedure which will insert into an issue master table but it will update this status simultaneously so i'm creating a procedure which will actually create uh, which will insert a record into an issue master table with a student id accession number and issue date but at the same time it will update the status of a book which is actually changed to i so create procedure let's give this as issue issue book can have parameters for the same so i can have parameter let's student id just take its data type second was at the rate accession number and then numeric rating comma zero so i will take only two parameters the reason is that i can have transaction id which is which we can give uh an auto incremented so let's pass that values and auto incremented for the same what we have to do just go to that particular book master table select the design part oh sorry just refresh it you will find that issue table just select the designing part of issue master select the transaction id and change its identity to yes so to save this right so we'll have an auto incremented transaction number now continue with the procedure so as give begin and now here i can have two sql statements insert into i'm inserting into issue master and only two parameters that is first is for issue date second parameter is student id third parameter will let's say accession number so just pass the values for it first one will be get date that is the system date and second one will be student id we'll get it from parameter of the procedure and second parameter also get from the procedure so this will insert into issue master but at the same time you want to update a book master table 
so bookmaster set book status equals to i where accession number is equals to at the rate accession number that's it just execute this procedure so a command is executed successfully now just try to execute this procedure now if you'll just refresh it you'll find your procedure right just right click and execute procedure now i'll pass the parameter student id i think we have 100 uh, sorry 201 accession number of book is 101 so we are issuing 101 book to 2001 student so, okay so you'll get written value 0 now let's see whether we have done with our fulfill our objective so select star from student tape uh, not student exactly it's an issue table then we'll check select star from bookmaster so that we can check the status of that book that we issued so here we go so we have and book status i and we have inserted into an issue table so that's it thank you